What exactly caused Tom Riddle's change of appearance? What were the factors that altered his facial structure from a strappingly handsome young man to the pale, serpentine appearance that he is portrayed as in the books and movies? Tom spent many years experimenting and pushing the boundaries of dark magic beyond limits that none have ever reached before. It's no secret that Tom created seven horcruxes, and it's also no secret that the creation of these horcruxes are the reason behind Tom's facial disfigurement. But how exactly did splitting his soul change his appearance? What link does the soul have to a wizard's physical appearance? It's this link that we first have to acknowledge before we can look at its effects. The soul is connected in some way or another to the physical appearance of its human host. And that's exactly what a human is to a soul. It's a host, a vessel that allows the spirit and characteristics of the soul to portray itself amongst a human's physical appearance. In a way, it can be considered a magical reason for every single person looking different because each person's soul is different. And yes, I am fully aware that genetics are the reason for no human looking the same, but it's just another view. And how exactly does the amount of times that a soul is split determine just how much the appearance of the person changes? I believe the soul being split affects a person's appearance in different stages. There is also a valid reason for the serpentine appearance of Tom as he continued splitting his soul. The soul is linked to the eyes, the nose, the hair, the skin and the physical body shape. And when the soul is split for the first time, it firstly affects the skin pigment, slowly reducing the colour of Tom's skin to a pale white while altering his nose minutely. The second splitting again slowly reduces Tom's nose in size and the pigment in his eyes begins to slowly turn a very pale blue. The third splitting increases the symptoms of the previous two stages, but Tom's thick head of hair now begins to quickly lose its fullness. It's around this time that he starts to appear serpent-like for the first time. By the fourth and fifth splitting, Tom's nose is now completely flat, his hair completely gone, and now in addition, his body is elongated, his fingers are naturally longer than normal and he is considerably taller. For Tom's final splitting, his eyes turn red and he takes the appearance as we know him from the books. But why the serpentine appearance? Tom's magical family didn't evolve from snakes. Salazar Slytherin, Tom's ancestor, was 100% human. Yes, he had an affiliation with serpents, but I think it's safe to say snakes don't make humans. The serpentine appearance stemmed from a higher power, much higher than magic. The soul is considered a gift from God. It is a spiritual and powerful being. To defile one's soul is a violation of God's law. To murder is a violation of nature's law. Combining both violations to create a horcrux will see punishment. The person is stripped of their humanity and their serpentine appearance is a representation of the serpent that tempted Adam and Eve when they violated God's law, just as Tom gave in to his temptation to achieve immortality. Thank you very much for watching today's video everyone, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I did put a lot of time, research, thought and effort into this video, um, I really hope you do enjoy it as I said. My question for you is, do you agree with today's video? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think the Horcrux has affected Tom in a different way than my video describes? Let me know in the comments below. Please give the video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and have a great day.